Coming to you from Studio 703, a show for students, by students. This is Bronco TV. Broncos, welcome to another episode of Bronco TV. I'm Mars. And I'm Aiden. Aiden, did you hear the improv show? I did. They absolutely killed it. I haven't laughed that hard since I was six. <laughs> Our improv team stole the stage with jokes and laughter. Broncos, remember to vote. RBHS is a registered voting site. You can vote on campus. CRF forms are crucial for scheduling your next, or first, year of high school. It's helpful for the students to have an idea of what they want to pursue so that we can better guide them. We just encourage kids to take charge of their futures by advocating for what they want to take and talking to their counselors about it so that we can make a good plan for them. The best part about being at a comprehensive high school, such a big high school, is that you get an opportunity to do what you love. Trying to allow 8th graders to feel like they're already a part of our campus and get excited about being a Bronco. If you're looking at your CRF and you're like, gosh, I really don't know what to pick, if I were in your shoes, I'd say do the one that when you read the page and you read the description, you're like, wow, that sounds like the thing for me. Find what interests you because that's what's going to keep you coming every day. I love filming. I want to continue in high school because my goal in life is to actually become a film director one day. So I'm actually really excited to meet new people, meet, make new friends. Most things that I'm excited for is just meeting new people, but I just like to try the new things in high school. This is the perfect time to be able to try things out, get your feet wet in different programs to see what really interests you. Lighting, uh, and just kind of the overall. I hate you. Hey mean I'm gonna tell someone about this oh no no I, I, I was just kidding uh, you're actually pretty cool oh thanks bring change to mind a mental health awareness club at RB brings to light the importance of empathy when creating a safe environment on campus we are a national nonprofit and we support peer-led mental health clubs on high school campuses. I think bringing visibility to a group of students that is dedicated to something like this on campus is really important. We have a huge impact on the school and other places outside of school. Mental health education is something that everyone needs to learn about. Being able to have a club on campus that's a space for that is, is really special. The importance of having different activities for students is people connect differently and that there's things that can help them. So bringing dogs, sometimes people are going through things and they don't necessarily want to even talk to a human, they just want to be near an animal. I hope through this club and through these weeks we're able to help understand how to make our school a better place for both students and staff. If you're on campus and something is concerning to you, you might hear something, you might see something, if you see something, take it seriously, act immediately, talk to a trusted adult. We have QR codes around the campus all over the place that if students see or hear something, they can report something to us. It's all about safety of selves and others. That's what the whole thing's about. Girls lacrosse is checking off all their boxes so far in their season, right Mars? Yeah, and boys tennis just started their season and they're going in with determination. Hey Broncos, the spring season has started and boys tennis is improving their skills in preparation for an amazing season. Being on any sport, obviously it builds dedication. It has helped me a lot um, in a way that has got me up on my feet and just driven to do what I like to do. I think my biggest role is trying to be a role model for all of my teammates. It's good to have a good dynamic with your partner. We just seem a little bit more confident and a little bit more uh, sure of ourselves. We have a little bit more experience. I think it's a sense of pride for them to do better and they're doing that, they're stepping up. It's great to see that they're playing well and we've got more matches to play. I've definitely gotten a lot of friends from the sport and overall it's just made the experience of the sport a lot better and more fun. I just enjoy coming out here because they're my friends. And girls across a strong bond make them confident they'll have a great season. 
some of them have been playing together for a while, so they're already pretty close. I have some good leaders on the team who really try to get the team together. I try to push that the reason we're out here is because we love the sport, we love our teammates, and um, I think confidence just kind of comes with that. If you're having fun what, with what you're doing on the field, I think they get closer in that aspect. I think from last season to this season, we just have a lot of like more chemistry. We're all always there and always motivated as a team. I'm really excited for the rest of the season. It's my last season, so I'm kind of excited to see how it goes. It's a very rewarding job and responsibility. That moment when they get it, it's, it makes me feel very proud because it shows that I'm doing the right thing. So Aiden, what kind of music do you listen to? Oh, I listen to all kinds. You know, I like System of a Down, Rio the OG, and Tay Tay. Like what Tay about you? Me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. What about you? Um, I've been into Corn lately, and I've been really liking myself some Joe. Okay, it's okay. It's been good. It's been good. You know, I hope our Broncos one day reach the level they're at. It'd be sick. And when they do, they're gonna dedicate a song to me. No, they won't. Music transcends languages and unites all different kinds of people. For RB's musicians, whether they're self-taught, in a band, or just jamming with friends, music is both their livelihood and passion. And around two years ago, I picked up the guitar to teach myself all the instruments that I play. So it really got me inspired to kind of, you know, start crafting my own music and joining that community. My inspiration at the moment is just like, the joy it brings me. I can't imagine my life without music. When you listen to music, you take all your inspiration and influence and then you make it your own baby. And you know, the way that we portray it is through our instruments. You know, as a musician and an artist, we go through a lot. We're very sensitive to this world. There's a lot of beautiful and negative things in this world. I just put so much love and what I'm feeling into the music. As long as you have love for something or for yourself is like the main thing. Like you need to at least love yourself. I want to impact and influence people to use music as a tool to like help them become the best version of themselves that they can be. Hey Broncos, that's about all we have for you this episode. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and, and subscribe. subscribe. And if you're going to the mountains up to the snow, remember if it's yellow, you cannot eat it. Have a good one. Season. And boys tennis really hit off. <laughs> she pretty cool. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> is that a good reaction? Don't 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 hey, cut. Alright.